Hi, Dr. Romano. As usual, you're here working away. Wow, that looks like one of your great problems. Is this something a student could expect to see on the DAT exam? Indeed it is. I actually wrote a couple of good questions up, um, and here's one of them I'd like to share with all of you on a really great DAT type of question. I'm very excited even looking at this problem. It involves many, many different concepts, and this one problem can encompass several different possible questions that you can get on the DAT exam. Let's take a look at it. Wow, okay. What I'm doing here is called a transformation. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with this compound called 1-butene, and I'm gonna transform it into A, then B, then C, and then D. B2H6, this reaction, as you can see, is called a hydroboration. And in a hydroboration, we're gonna add on water in an anti-Makovnikov fashion. Notice the carbon here that actually has two H's here, and there's only one H here. The carbon with the most H's, with the double bond, gets the OH, and the other gets the H, and that first gives me my primary alcohol. In the second step, step we're gonna use what's called a mild oxidation, and we're gonna use a chemical called PCC, or a newer chemical called the Swern oxidation, which is actually a witch's brew of oxalochloride, DMSO, and a base. This particular base is what we call triethylamine. And what it did, it takes the primary alcohol into the aldehyde. Once I got the aldehyde, then I do a Grignard. Very important reaction for a DAT. Aldehydes and ketones, as you can see, do what's called a nucleophilic addition reaction. In this nucleophilic addition reaction, the double bond O became an OH. We added on the R group. Here the R group is a methyl from the Grignard, and we produce an alcohol. And then finally, now I'm really excited. As you can see in this next step, NAH, what that's going to do, it's going to remove off the acidic proton, which is here, remove this off. Wow. And then we're going to add on CH3I in an SN2 reaction. This particular SN2 reaction is the famous Williamson ether synthesis. So to recap, what I've done was a hydroboration, then a mild oxidation, then a nucleophilic addition in the Grignard, and followed by an SN2 Williamson ether synthesis. The important thing is what you want to do is to be able to think in sequence. So it's not enough just to know what A is. You got to be able to understand that once you get A, you transfer A into B into C and then further down the chain. All right, I hope this gives you one of many, many clips that I'm going to be doing to show you what I think is extremely important to be able to do very well on the DAT exam. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I look forward to making some more clips with you in the future. Thank you, Dr. Romano. We can't wait. You're very welcome.